Today we will try to understand the landmark case K. M. Nanavati versus the state of Maharashtra, AIR 1962, Supreme Court 605. Fact of the case: Nanavati was a commander of the Indian naval ship. He was married to one Sylvia in 1949 in England. For the demand of service, Nanavati had to move from one place to another with his family and finally shifted to Bombay with his wife Sylvia, two sons and one daughter. Agnix was a friend of Nanavati, introduced Nanavati with another friend, Prem Ahoja, an automobile businessman in Bombay. For the demand of service, Nanavati had to go with ship, leaving his family at Bombay. Ahuja, Nanavati and Agnix had family friendship. The friendship between Sylvia and Prem started to depend and turned into elect relationship between them. Sylvia confessed the elect relationship between her and Prem to her husband, Nanavati, on 27th of April, 1959. On hearing the elect relationship from his wife, Nanavati rose his control and went to the ship and took the semi-automatic revolver and six cartridges on a false pretext, loaded the revolver and went to the flat of Prem and shot him dead, surrendered himself before the police. Decision of the Trial Court and High Court Nanavati was charged under Section 302 and 304 of the Indian Penal Code before the jury and the session judge at Greater Bombay. It was decided at a ratio of 8 is to 1. The jury hold that Nanavati not guilty because no man can hold himself if his wife indulged in elect relationship as Sylvia. But the session judge hold different view from the jury and found Nanavati guilty for murder of Brim Ahuja. Learned session judge Ratilal Bhaijad Mehta recorded his reason for the decision and submitted his report before the Bombay High Court under Section 307 of the Criminal Procedure Code. The decision of the trial judge was challenged by Nanavati before the Honorable Bombay High Court. The Honorable Justice Shilat and Nayak hold the similar view of that the offense amount to murder, it can't be reduced to culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Nanavati found guilty and sentenced him rigorous imprisonment for life. Reference to the Supreme Court Nanavati being agreed with the decision of the Honorable High Court at Bombay, preferred an appeal before the Apex Court. The contention and argument forwarded by the appellant are 1. There was no power conferred under subsection 3 of the section 307 of the Criminal Procedure Code of the High Court to turn down the verdict of the jury. The verdict or decision of the jury was set aside and not kept for further reference. 3. The accused caused the crime under grave and sudden provocation as he has gone through in this situation. The offence does not fall under the category of murder under section 302 of the Indian Penal Code. Rather it fall under the category of culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Verdict by the Supreme Court To reach the decision, the Apex Code has turned each and every stone from the ashes of fact and evidence to analyze while considering the argument of the appellant that the offense was committed out of the grave and sudden provocation. So, the accused must get the benefit of the exception number 1 of the section 300 of Indian Penal Code. Sylvia confessed about the elect relationship with Prem Ahoja to her husband Nanavati in her home when Prem was not present. It can be presumed that for the moment Nanavati had lost his control. After hearing the elect relationship, Nanavati sent his wife and children to the cinema and thereafter went to the ship and took semi-automatic revolver and six cartridges with false pretext. Nanavati left his house for ship to collect the weapon around 1330 hours 
From sheep, he went to the office of Prem Ahuja. As he did not find him, so Nanavati went to the flat of Ahuja around 1620 hours. Nanavati straight entered into the bedroom of Ahuja and shot him. Now, the time when Nanavati left the house was 1330 hours and the time when he reached the flat of Prem Ahuja was 1620 hours. So that is a year gap of 3 hours. It was sufficient time to regain the control for Nanavati. So it did not attract the exception number 1 of the section 300 of the Indian Penal Court. The Supreme Court held that the decision taken by the Bombay High Court that the offense tantamount to murder and the punishment of rigorous imprisonment for life was correct.